and yes, welcome back to another video, guys. Now, that's right, today we're back for the room tour uh, 2023. Now, I wasn't really going to do a room tour this year because it hasn't changed massively since last year, but it's changed enough where I thought, you know what? People love seeing the room tour. They love seeing the Blu-ray collection videos. These are videos that people just enjoy seeing. So, you know, once a year, I'll do an update. But if the room has changed enough next year, there'll be another one next year. If it really hasn't changed that much, then... I really don't see the point. Um, but it has changed a fair bit since the last video, um, just in terms of where things are. Mostly the shelves up the top, you know, like uh, displays and stuff. Um, so yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do all that. Uh, before we get started, I did want to say, live stream was meant meant to be back on the first of May. <laughs> I was really unwell, um, so I had to delay it to this week um, today. And um, the, the my guest for this week is really unwell now, so I haven't got a guest for tonight. So I've delayed it again to next Monday. This will be the last delay. Um, I'm trying to organise another guest to come on because unfortunately uh, my original guest can't do next week either. Um, so I am trying to organise another guest for next week. If not, I'll just do a solo one next week. But 100% next Monday, the live streams will start up. <laughs> just It's just been a bit of a mess, mostly on my part. You know, I messed up the first one being unwell. But anyway... Live streams gonna be back very soon, very soon, only a week away. Um, and then, you know, hopefully no more problems from there on. We've got the dates, we've got the guests for like the first um, couple months and hopefully it'll all run pretty smoothly <laughs> from now on. Um, but anyway, let's get started with the room tour. So, room tour, we're basically gonna, we'll, we'll start here, we'll start with the music and then we'll work our way around to the movie stuff because I know that's what people find uh, the most interesting here on this channel. This is a movie channel. Um, so yeah, I do have a lot of music. I'm a huge music person as well. And we're going to spin around. We're going to cover this ball wall and then we're going to keep working all the way around until we're back here. There's really, you know, just a cupboard really. A little Star Wars stuff up there. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So starting off over here, I've got this up here, which I got from a Comic-Con. Um, this probably won't stay here forever. It's a bit small. It looks a bit lonely. It's um, just my um, Cobra Kai um kind of a, uh logo there which as i say i found it at comic con i still think it looks really cool it just looks a bit lonely up there a bit out of place so i don't know if that'll stay there forever and then we come over here and i used to have if people remember loads of collectible models up there um but a lot of them were more kind of sentimental ones um but you know it, it started to get a bit messy and in the end i thought you know it's all music here down so I thought, I, I kind of wanted to get a couple music posters up there. And I'm such a big Beatles fan. Um, you know, my favourite band ever. Um, I, I just absolutely love everything they've done. <laughs> um, so I thought, why not get a couple posters up there? So first off, we, we do have one collectible still up here. We've got my yellow submarine there, which I bought in the airport in Amsterdam. <laughs> Funny enough, we were at the airport. Me, my friends were like, James, i got a yellow submarine. you got to buy it. So I bought it. Um, and then, yeah, we got these two pictures here, which I've made. Um, I made the frames. You can't really see the frames very well. But, yeah, I made up a couple frames there. And, um, yeah, I've got the Sergeant Pepper gatefold, as you can see. It has a blue background instead of a yellow one, but it was it was the only one I could find. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, the famous early 1963 photo of them walking down the Liverpool Street. Very cool. And then underneath are these three boxes here are filled up with Beatles box sets um so you've got the Beatles stereo vinyl box set you've got the Revolver 50th the Sgt Pepper 50th the White Album 50th the Abbey Road and the Let It Be 50th sets you got some John Lennon you got the John Lennon box set the Imagine 40th set I think it was for Give Me Some Truth set and the 50th anniversary book for Imagine and Plastic Ono Band and then you got some McCartney, got pure McCartney, a few archive box sets, and a couple of George Harrison bits, and Beatles CD, and the Magical Mystery Tour set, which came out for the 45th anniversary, I think it was. And then just a couple other box sets down the end there. You got a bit of Bob Dylan, Eric Clapton, Cream, um, Bill Collins, and Pink Floyd. And you come down here, and I wanted to keep all my Beatles stuff together. So all my records are in alphabetical order, but the Beatles stuff. So here we have Beatles. <laughs> these are um, originals here, so all these kind of white-looking ones. These these are old, you know. These are from the actual 1960s here. Um, show you a couple. There's like an original Sgt. Pepper stereo and mono. 
Um, we've got like an original revolver there. Um, we've got some original help. Beetle sale, all that stuff, all the good stuff. And um, as you can see, the Beetle sort goes on into here. You've got the um, anthology stuff. You've got a couple other nice sets here. Um, and then some American pressings here, because we know that the Americans like to mess up their records a bit. Um, <laughs> and then just here, this white one here, uh, starts off the McCartney stuff. So again, I own every Paul McCartney album on vinyl. Um, oh, sorry, got to get onto my bed there. <laughs> going through all the wings stuff um even a lot of his rare 90s and early 2000s stuff is there um including the fireman stuff um so a couple of these are really really hard to come by let's have a look we've got uh working classic run devil run there's um man this 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 thing cost me a lot of money <laughs> it's still sealed as well um but yeah just all, all of the rare stuff's there and of course, at the minute with McCartney, we're going all the way up to McCartney 3. Then I have, of course, the 50th anniversary stuff that's been coming out for Paul on the Half Speed Masters. So the latest one just came out the other week, the Red Rose Speedway. Um, and then the archive vinyls. Then we go into John. And, you know, John, bless him, didn't have the longest life, so there's not loads of stuff there. Um, and then it goes into George. I love George. And yeah, I, I do have Ringo as well. <laughs> I don't mind a couple of his earlier works, but yeah, mostly here for the collection Ringo. And then it does go into my actual record collection. So starting with A, um, starts off with ABBA, of course. And then we've got some Arctic Monkeys, Aurora. And then down here, um, what else have we got? We've got some Chuck Berry in here, Joe Bonamossa. You can see I've got loads of his stuff. He's a great modern blues artist. If you haven't checked him out, he's got a very kind of heavy rock sound to him but um also does a lot of blues um he even comes into this box i've got i've got loads of records this is latest album and actually my favorite of his uh time clocks give it a listen and i've got his new live live album on the way it should come tomorrow um david bowie yep love me some bowie um let's pull something out there you go scary monsters of course um, we got some Lindsay Buckingham, we got some Kate Bush and Johnny Cash, loads of Eric Clapton. I'm a big Eric Clapton fan, got the pleasure of seeing him live uh, five years back or so. Um, and then some Phil Collins, Coldplay, um, loads of Bob Dylan there. Bob Dylan sort of ranges like from, from about here all the way to here. Elbow, some Billie Eilish. Electrolyte Orchestra, Fleetwood Mac, Peter Gabriel. You can always see the Peter Gabriel ones because of these spines. Um, <laughs> Genesis, Beth Hart, um, Billy Joel, Elton John, and Keen. Love Keen, one of my favourite modern bands. And then over here as well, we've got my alarm clock, which has the pleasure of waking me up every morning. Um, <laughs> and my controller there for my PS5. Um, my windows, um, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, uh, they're tinted out. Um, this one's completely frosted, mostly just because I the, the, I used to have some records here. It was actually the Joe Bonamassa ones, and the light from the summer would come in, and it started to slowly color damage the ones that were right next to the window. So um, yeah, I've um, blocked I've blocked this one out, and to be honest, these blinds are normally down. Um, they're only open when I do videos to try and get the best lighting possible. But yeah, they're completely tinted out. I ordered these online um, just just to get, you know, try and get as much sun out of here as possible. Um, so yeah, and then on my bed, I've got my Pikachu. Um, <laughs> I can't lie, in the night, he just, he goes onto the floor because um, he, he's annoying. But um, he's very soft and I do like him. Um, and then over here, as you can see, we've got, we've got my Godzilla corner up the top. Because I am a big Godzilla fan. So we got one of him fighting Kong over there. And we got an original Godzilla poster up the top. And we got a modern looking one here. Very cool. We got Godzilla and Mothra. Uh, we got my Criterion set. But the discs are not in there. Um, they are in some plastic Amory cases I made up. Um, which I'll show you in a bit. And we got a pop vinyl Godzilla. And then when you come down here, the TV series line does start here and goes all the way across. But before we do that, let's come down to this shelf. This is my Marvel shelf. As you can see, it started all the way off with Iron Man. And yeah, I did collect 3D 
Even though I really sort of lost interest in 3D, probably around the Thor Ragnarok time, but I kept going. And I always said after the Infinity Saga, I'm going to move to 4K. Luckily, <laughs> I don't know, It's just they just stopped putting them out in 3D then anyway. So it's a good thing I didn't intend to keep going with the 3D. But I'm very happy um, with the way this collection's gone. And um, Mr. Tin and Sonic does me some absolutely lovely artwork for the um, Marvel shows um, and specials there, um, as you can see. And they all look absolutely fantastic. Um, and of course, we're all the way up to the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Ant-Man is on pre-order, and I'll be getting Guardians Volume 3 as soon as he's up for pre-order. Um, we've got a little Iron Man sitting there, just to fill in the gap. we got the art books here, which I had so much fun collecting about three or four years back. <clears throat> um, the art books used to come out with the movies. <laughs> now it's such a long wait. We've only just got Shang-Chi, but um, and they've also... Obviously, they've made them smaller. They don't get these really nice slip boxes anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, is what it is. Um, so we've got Black Widow, WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, and Shang-Chi. And that's a big box set there with the original four uh, movie art books in. We've got a Hulk Buster there, which my friend Ryan gave me. And then here we've got my Marvel soundtracks. Uh, this box is too small for them to stand up, so I've had to lay them down. But there's some really cool stuff in here. As you can see, I've got the Mondo... Infinity War and Avengers soundtrack. This is beautiful. This is a book at the bottom, by the way. And then there's a couple other Mondo ones here at the bottom. Um, with Ragnarok, Black Panther, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Black Widow, Shang-Chi, um, Thor Love and Thunder, and Werewolf by Night just up here. And there's also a really old person of the original Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I have on pre-order Loki and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Um... So, yeah, there'll be another couple added there. And then there's just some other ones, some other Guardians mixes. I've got the ACDC Iron Man 2. Uh, there's an Avengers Endgame picture disc. There's a few picture discs here, actually. I think there's a couple Spider-Man ones. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a few fair bits there. And then the music collection does carry on down here in these bottom two boxes. So, that ended on K with Keen over there. So, then it comes over here. we got L, uh, Led Zeppelin. we got some Madness. Uh, Oasis, um, Tom Petty, Mud Crouch, uh, Robert Plant, um, and then there's some other bits and bobs. Um, down the bottom there, some Rolling Stones, um, some Who, a bit of Harry Styles. Yep, yeah, people don't normally expect me to like him, but I do. <laughs> and then before we move on over to the actual movies, let's just come over here. I've got my Sony um, TV here. This is a 40... Oh, what is it? A 42, 43 inch? Um, yeah, I, I was obviously restricted to what I could get because of the box it's in. <laughs> As you can see, I've got some lights behind it. It looks really cool at night um, when I'm sitting here. Uh, pitch black, the 4K screen is beautiful. I went for one of the best ones um, that you could get this size, this format at the time. Um, and then I've got Star Wars lightsaber book there um, because, as you'll see in a bit, I like my lightsabers. Um, <laughs> and I do want to get another hilt at some point. I bought that right after I bought my first lightsaber. And it's kind of helpful, actually, even though I know a lot of the hilts anyway. But it's 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 almost like a browsing catalogue, I found. And then we come down here and these are my games. Here's my Switch games. Um, I am planning on doing a video on my Switch games because I, I enjoy collecting them and playing them. Um, my favourite game on Switch is definitely Mario Odyssey. And then we come over here. Here's my PS5 games. Um, currently playing the new Jedi Survivor, but my favourite PS5 game is actually probably Hogwarts Legacy. Had so much fun with this one, and so far I've only platinumed Miles Morales and Lego Star Wars, so <laughs> need to definitely uh, platinum some more. And it's PS4 games here. My favourite game ever is Red Dead Redemption Two, um, but my most played game ever is Star Wars Battlefront Two. And then the game sort of carry on into here. And then this, this box is kind of just for odds and sods. Um, I've got some Beatles sets there, some Eight Days a Week, the Get Back, Amazing Fly on the Wall documentary, um, some David Attenborough shows, and then down at the bottom there, the John Lennon anthology set and the ELO CD box set. Come over here, I've got my turntable with a Thanos mat on, um, and then I have... George Harrison, the Apple Years, George Harrison, the Dark Horse Years, so basically all of his albums, but his last one, Brainwashed. Um, 
yeah, they just don't fit anywhere else. They're such awkward sized boxes, um, but they're really beautiful. I'll just open up this one and show you. You sort of lift this up and it it does push back in. But anyway, and then you've got his albums in there in a book. Um, they're really, really great sets. And the remastering job um, that Danny has done on them is incredible. Underneath, um, wow, it looks really dusty. It's actually not that dusty down here. Um, <laughs> I have my camera, which I've used twice for my PS5 to do streams on. My headset, my Mac, my, this is still quite new because I broke my last one. Underneath there is a PS2 because I still enjoy playing my PS2 games. Um, my CD player, my amplifier, my PS5, and a couple other box sets where I couldn't find room to put them. Um, so it's all Tom Petty, but that's a Kate Bush set. So yeah, all of Tom Petty's later albums are in there. And um, Tom Petty and American Treasure set. This is a really cool set, actually. Okay, I'm going back up here now. So don't these look great? These are my Doctor Who the Collection sets. Um, so I've got all of them so far. Um, we've got none on pre-order at the minute, um, but we've got season 2, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 17, 18, 19, 22, 23, 24, 26. And the movie. And a little David Tennant model there, which I think was sent to me by my good friend Anthony Fisher. And then this does continue on up here. We've got Doctor Who, the best era of Doctor Who. We've got the Russell T. Davis, David Tennant era. Um, with Matt Smith in there, and then it goes into the Capaldi, and I do own the Jodie Wick stuff, I know it's not great, but I love Doctor Who, so I've got to have it all, and then yeah, there's the Avatar, uh, the last Airbender set, fantastic show, House of Dragon, and then in this set, we, we have uh, Game of Thrones, Black Sails, Band of Brothers, Breaking Bad, some of the best TV shows ever right there, and above them, we have a couple models, we got Aang, because I love Avatar, um, this here, which my mates, actually both of these my mates got me for my birthday. This was um, for my 24th birthday, they got me this, uh, the Eye of Agimoto. Um, it does light up and it does move. Um, <laughs> I'm a massive F1 fan, and uh, Lewis Hamilton is my driver, and they got me this for my 25th birthday. It's a uh, little sculpture of his helmet from uh, 2023, uh, 2022, sorry. Uh, we've got the Batman. I bought this after I saw the movie because I loved it so much. Um, it's weird, I've sort of propped him up a little bit there, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Just so it looks like he's standing up straight a bit more. I used to have a really cool Shazam model here, but after the last Shazam movie, I was like, I don't really want him up anymore. <laughs> so, I, of the models that were originally up over there, um, I thought I'll bring my pop vinyl of uh, Drogon from Game of Thrones over. So, and he looks a lot cooler. And then I have an Avengers poster. This is the Endgame Mondo poster. Um, and then I have Aliens, which I believe is a Mondo poster as well, this one. Um, I love Aliens. It's one of my favourite movies ever. And funny enough, I watched this movie this morning, um, Predator. Um, I really like the movie. I won't say it's one of my favourite films ever, but I love that poster. And it goes so well with the Alien one. So, yeah. I have Christian Bale's Dark Knight mask. Um, this is something I might not keep. Um, but it looks pretty cool at the minute, I guess. Um, I have Negan's baseball bat there, which, um, me and my dad built myself because the ones online all look plastic and very cheap. So we bought a baseball bat, painted it, bought some fake barbed wire, glued it on, painted that. And then I went to a fancy dress party dressed up as Negan and I took the bat. So <laughs> it, was, it turned out pretty cool. Um, lava lamp there. I've got a killer clown from outer space. Um, we got a Jurassic Park poster and a Grogu. And I'll come back to this side of the room in a minute. Let's do these first. Now, I have done my Blu-ray collection video. So, sorry, I'm just moving my tripod out of the way there. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll go very quick here. Uh, the TV shows basically just continue into here. There's some Marvel stuff there. And then we go into um, Sherlock. Um, sorry, sci-fi. We go into sci-fi. Sherlock's back there. Sorry, I was just... I'm <clears throat> thinking too much there. Um, <laughs> we've got my Alien and Predator stuff. We've got some more sci-fi there. We've got a beautiful Matrix box set sent to me by the wonderful Alex Hampson. we got the DC stuff. I am a completist on DC as well with the, the DCU connected stuff. So there's a couple of math films there. But yeah, you know, hopefully James Gunn will get it back on track. <laughs> uh, the Batman. Um, what a movie. Absolutely love this film. Um, and we've got some other Marvel stuff. It's not over there because that's all MCU. So we've just got the other Marvel stuff here. Uh, with Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, Deadpool. 
Although Deadpool might have to move over there technically now, I don't know. And then we've got some X-Men. Mad Max. Love me some Mad Max. Um, Fast and Furious, I'm recently going through these movies um, in a rewatch for the new one. Um, yeah, they're not the best films, but, you know, it's entertaining enough, I guess. More into some action here. We've got the Daniel Craig Five Film Collection on 4K. Uh, Rocky and Creed, love them. Karate Kid, Mr. Jack Logan. Um, come down here. Some of my other favourite films here. We've got Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Babylon. I really, really liked Babylon. I um, was so happy to pick this up. Uh, Knives Out. Love a bit of Ryan Johnson. I know. <laughs> bit of a controversial thing to say, I think. Um, and we got some more biopics, some musical stuff here. You guys know me, I'm a big musical guy. Uh, but that comes down over here. And then this sort of goes into... Got a few westerns there, and then we're going into some war stuff. Um, yeah, I don't alphabetize my stuff because I like to keep a lot of things together. Like, for example, I've got some Disney stuff here together. Um, man, the 4Ks look so dusty. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, we've got my new Pirates of the Caribbean 4K set, which I love. Um, Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, great stuff. Here are my custom-made Godzilla cases, which have all of my Godzilla films in. Uh, we've got the Fantastic Beast films. Jurassic Park collection in 4K. Comes down here, you've got some more Godzilla. Um, Universal Monsters movies. Great, great stuff. Um, we got some horror stuff there. We've got some classics with Halloween. Uh, we've got Scream. Um, X. A lot, a lot of really good movies. And then I have to just swivel my chair here out the way. Um, come back down here. And then, yeah, we just got a couple other bits down here. Bring that round here. And then right at the bottom, just got some nice animated stuff there from Disney. And a couple other little bits on the end. And down the bottom, um, John Lennon CD box set, some McCartney archives. And then just, just a few CDs. I don't really collect CDs. There's just a couple there. And then on my chair, that's my teddy bear. I got him the day... I was born, I was given him, so yeah, he's as old as me, technically older, he's been with me for life, so yeah, Teddy, um, <laughs> like Mr Bean there, um, and then coming up the top, I'll, I'll do the top here, and I'll come back to these films, so I've got a 2001 Space Odyssey poster, It's a Wonderful Life, and Look at the Bad, the Ugly, and just a couple models there, another one that was gifted to me by from my friend Ryan, uh, Star Trek, <laughs> I've seen all the movies. Um, I don't know if this isn't the Enterprise from one of the shows, or if it's just a similar ship. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks cool. It looks cool. Uh, Lilo and Stitch. I I love Stitch. Who doesn't? Um, this here I bought at my first MCM Comic Con. Uh, the Lion King is my favorite animated film. I know it's a generic pick, but <laughs> I love it. Look at it. Look at how cute it is. I love it. Uh, we got a Niffler there with my wand collection. We got Voldemort's, Snape's, McGonagall's, and the Elder Wand. And then as we come over here, this is my Star Wars section. We've got Mando's helmet. We've got my Saber Forge Count Dooku lightsaber. It is my favourite hill. I know some people are going to go, why'd you get Dooku's? I actually love the character Dooku. He's brilliant, and his hilt is just fantastic. Um... There's a light up Death Star there as well. This is my autograph book as well. Um, I put my um, posters from the cinema in there as well. Stormtrooper helmet. Some other hats I wear sometimes, but I normally wear my Mercedes one now. And my prequel poster. Because, yeah, I love the prequels. They're great movies. Well, three's well, great. The other two are pretty solid. Um <laughs> Okay, um, there's nothing in, in my cupboard, really. There's a few extra Star Wars novels. Um, I'm not going to show you that. That's my calendar my mates bought me, and there's, like, embarrassing pictures of me on it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, there's a couple extra Star Wars novels in there, mostly High Republic stuff. We'll close that. Um, <laughs> coming back over here, this is my favourite wall in the room. This is my collection wall. And a lot of money's gone into this one. Um, <laughs> and so we got some collectible box sets up the top here. We've got the two Doctor Who, uh, Pete Cushion films. Um, the Colours Trilogy, this is such a nice set. Great films as well. 
And then, yeah, I've got a couple collections here. Bong Joon-han, Alf Alfred Hitchcock, Charlie Chaplin. Got the Austin Powers films. And then here we've just got some... Uh, we've got some cine editions here with Godzilla through to Almost Famous. Um, oh, no, wait. Good, Goodfellas is one as well. Uh, Warner Brothers have put out these nice sets. I'm waiting for them to do another one. I think the next one is the Vacation film, the original. Um, but we've got the Green Mile, Citizen Kane, and Singing in the Rain. They're beautiful sets. One BFI set there. Um, we've got the Outsiders box set, which I got for an absolute steal in CEX. And some Second Sight films. Um, I'm loving these Second Sight films at the minute. Um, one of my favourite little collections going. Um, I missed out on the Witch set, which is really upsetting. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's why I grabbed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one before it went out of print. And then the Arrow video stuff. I mean, I, I love these sets. The Wolf of Wall Street one is definitely my favourite. But look how nice they all look lined up. Oh, they look so good. And then coming down here with some more Arrow stuff. <clears throat> now, I have watched every single Arrow video film I own, but the Ring Trilogy. Um, <laughs> they just look so scary. But I have watched everything else that I've shown you so far on this wall. Um, I'll point out the ones I haven't watched, because I've genuinely nearly watched everything now on this wall. And I like to do that. I don't like to buy films for the sake of it. I like to buy them knowing that I'm going to watch them, and they're things I'm interested in watching. Um, but the Arrow video films do continue on here. The Light, I apologise. This movie, absolutely brilliant. Um, <laughs> my friend Reese, um, if you're watching. <laughs> um, actually, I've got two copies of the thing here. If you can see, I've got the thing up there. Got the thing here. I, I keep meaning to give this to my friend. Um, so, yeah, I need to do that. Um, Criterions now. There are two Criterions in this collection I haven't watched. I haven't watched yet um, this one, Three Outlaw Samurai. I need to get on that. Um, and then the other one I haven't watched because I've, I have I very kindly got sent this recently um, by Luke, I believe it was. So, yeah, need to watch this. It's only been in the collection a couple of weeks, though. So I feel like I've got a bit of an excuse on that one. Um, I don't on three outlaws, <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's a lot of great stuff here um, in this in this um, selection of movies. Uh, Free Tense Humor, very kindly gifted to me by Mr. Jamie Powell. Um, what else? We got The Breakfast Club, Fast Times. Um, we got some Wes Anderson, Punch Drunk Love, really good Paul Thomas Anderson film. Come down here, Okja, great great movie, and then we got some. Criterions here in their little digi packs. I love these ones. Night of the Living Dead, um, right there on the end. Sorry, um, really, really good one. Um, I love Mirror. I preferred Stalker though, which I do own. Um, it's back over there somewhere. Um, Before Trilogy, Days and Confused. You know, did the right thing. These, these are all great titles. The, the, the More Wes Anderson's Roma, Parasite, Marriage Story. What a cracking movie this is. Um, yeah, the Irishman. Really, really good stuff. Uh, we've got some movie releases. Movie um, I've really enjoyed for the most part so far. Um, you know, my favourites in the movie range would have to be Annette. I really like this one. Um, Drive My Car is definitely the best one for me. Um, Shiva Baby was another good one. Yeah, and yeah, you know, After Sun probably a pretty good one as well there. Um, I didn't love it as much as some people. Um, and then into the premiums. There's a couple premiums I have yet to watch as well. Um, but I'm making my way through them as well. There's only a couple here I have yet to see. But my favourites in here are definitely Forbidden Planet. I really love this movie. Of course, we've got, we got a lot of Kubrick in here. Uh, Shining. Little Shop of Horrors. Another great movie. Um, what other good ones we got in here? Uh, the longest movie I've ever seen. If you're not including The Lord of the Rings um, extended cut. Um, Casablanca. Um, okay, there's there's three films here I haven't seen. Uh, Pet Cemetery, Shaft, and shockingly Chinatown. I have yet to get round to this one. Um, and my own private Idaho I haven't seen yet. Nor have I seen the Last Picture Show. And I haven't seen Marathon Man. Um, two thousand one, one of my favorite movies of all time. So yeah, there's there's four or five there on that road that I haven't seen. Come down here, and I think there's a couple here I haven't watched yet either. I haven't seen Urban Cowboy or The Haunting Remake. Um, so, yeah, I have seen the original Haunting. That's up here. It's up here. There it is. Um, watched that only about a week ago. 
So, yeah, again, you know, there's, the premiums are where I need to <laughs> catch up. And of these, um, we've got some collectible slips here. The only ones here I haven't seen, I haven't seen Selma's Lot. Shockingly, I haven't seen The Exorcist, but I'm saving this for this Halloween. This is going to be my Halloween film this year. Um, and The Nun, I haven't seen. Um, and then it goes into my Disney films here, which I have seen all of these. I grew up on these. Um, so, yeah, I've seen a lot of these many times. Um... My personal favourites, um, Pinocchio, I love the original Pinocchio, um, Peter Pan, of course, um, Jungle Book, um, of course, The Lion King, you know, this This is my favourite animated film ever, Tarzan, Lilo and Stitch, Brother Bear, Treasure, Treasure Planet's worth a shout as well, and then we come over here, move the chair again, you know what, I'm going to sit down on the chair, take my weight off my feet while I'm recording, uh, we finish up the Disney collection there. We are all the way up to date with uh, Strange World. Not the best film. Really liked Encanto. Um, Moana, great film. Tangled as well. I like Tangled. Uh, then we go into the Pixar range. Um, as you can see. Also, numbered slips. And, um, yeah, these are all 3D all the way up to Onward, I believe. Even though Onward has a regular slip on, but underneath is a 3D copy. Uh, my favourites, you know, Nemo is, the, uh, I believe, the first film I ever saw in cinema, so I'm always going to hold personal bias towards that, but I really love all of these Pixar films, other than maybe Cars, Brave and Monsters University, but all the rest of them that you see here are really good films. Um, Wally, great film. Come down here, Good Dinosaur, just sort of getting tucked away a bit there. Um, but yeah, the rest of the Pixar films, all the way up to Lightyear, and some Studio Ghibli's. Now... It's a bit of an annoying collection, this one, because it looks like I'm missing numbers, but the ones that are missing are in this beautiful set here. So, yeah. And I've got a Fellini set there. Um, yeah, it should be up there with the directors, but they're all in nice hardback boxes, and this one's in a cheap one, so it really looked out of place, so I've just popped it down here. And then a couple box sets. Um, Bond. This long one here has Harry Potter. Lauren Hardy. Sarah Jane Adventures. Only Fools and Horses. And my epic Clint Eastwood set. Okay, and we come over here to the Star Wars box. This is all Star Wars. Um, as you can see, we've got all of the movies there. Um, Star Wars is like my favourite thing. Um, I'm, as you guys know, I'm a huge, huge fan. Um, <laughs> and all of the shows here. And I want to give a massive shout to my friend Anthony Fisher, who helps me out with um, getting some nice artwork done for these um tv shows which otherwise i'd not be able to own so um yeah he really really does a good job with his artworks and it matches the um clone wars series artworks um so yeah we've got the movies we've got a clone wars movie the clone wars i love this show it's so good if you haven't seen it give it a watch some of the best star wars you will watch uh bad batch tales of the jedi the obi-wan kenobi show all four seasons of rebels great stuff and or uh, Mandalorian Season 1 and 2, Boba, Mandalorian Season 3. Uh, we've got the despecialized Star Wars here. So this is how, as close to what they would have looked like uh, when they originally came out of cinema. Um, Resistance, I haven't seen Season 2, but I didn't really like Season 1 much. Holiday Special, <laughs> uh, The Battle for Endor, and Caravan of uh, Courage. Um, now, I'm going to be honest, I actually haven't seen these three movies at the end here. Because um, they're not canon, I find it hard to go back and watch them. And then I've got a Thrawn bus there, which was also sent to me from my very good friend, Anthony Fisher. Um, Thrawn is like my top 10 Star Wars characters. He's amazing. And I can't wait to see him make his live action debut um, in a few months. Then we go down here. We got some We got some books. We got the art book for Fallen Order. We got the three making of books for the original trilogy. We got a whole bunch of art books there. Uh, these are great. I know that, you know, let us see. I'm, I'm, I, I don't mind The Force Awakens Last Jedi. I really don't. They're fine. It's the last one I have problems with. Um, <laughs> but they are very interesting art books. Uh, I've got the Mandalorian art book there as well. There's a Clone Wars one, Visions. Yep, there's some other books behind here as well. Um, but at the front here I have the novels. I have read all of these. Um, yep, yep, no, I have I have read all of them. There's two on the bottom which I haven't read. Um, Dooku Jedi Lost is my favourite. Uh, or, uh, maybe my favourite. There's another one in a minute. Um, <laughs> Dooku Jedi Lost is so fantastic. Um, please, please listen to it on Audible. It will make you fall in love with the character Dooku. Uh, like it did me. 
Um, and then we go down here where the this is like a collectible Rebels art book set. And we got all the vinyls. We got the Mondo Rogue One set, New Hope, um, 40th anniversary. Yeah, 40th anniversary set, I think this is for. Yeah. Um, so, a load of collectible records there from Star Wars. Loads of picture discs and stuff. I'll have to do a video on that one day. And then down here, we've got more of the novels. Uh, the first Thrawn book is also absolutely incredible. But all of the Thrawn books are great. Um, the only ones... I haven't read um, Bloodline or Aftermath 2 and 3. So, there's a couple there I actually haven't got around to yet. And behind there are my Star Wars comics. Um, yeah, just run out of room. So, yeah, that's the collection wall. And then just sort of sum this video up. Let me just show you what I've got out here. Because um, there's another couple of bits. Got the office. There we go. Love that show. We got a couple of posters up there. Thanos. A couple of little models. Got that for my 18th birthday. And this is just where the extra films go. Um... Like, there's stuff here which I really like and I want to keep, um, you know, but, you know, just haven't got around to watching it all yet. And a lot of the subscriber mail stuff of films where I need to watch them go here as well, um, just because I will then watch it. And if I like it a lot, it will go into that room. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you know, I, I still like to keep all of this. Um, the films I really don't like, I do just send on to my friends. Um, but these are films I still really like and I've just run out of room in the main room for them or you know there's collection stuff in here like i've got the later two transformers films and bumblebee there which i do quite like them and i well <laughs> i don't i don't really like the the mark Wahlberg ones but i like bumblebee but you know space is an issue so some things do have to get sacrificed to the hallway but all those films out there are still you know very important and i do like to keep so as another little side note here i actually forgot um so where my records are i actually do have these two cubby holes down here as well uh, which I filled up with soundtracks, which I forgot to show, and some extra box sets, which are from ages ago. I've had these sets for years. A lot of these were handed down to me, like um, that original beat was one I think was handed down to me. The Elvis Presley one, the Buddy Holly one, the Stones one. Uh, they're all my dad's stuff, and they come from grandparents. But yeah, a lot of soundtracks in here, from um, some DC stuff to Game of Thrones, uh, Peaky Blinders, Walking Dead, Cornetto Trilogy... And, of course, a lot of musical stuff down there at the bottom. <laughs> With, like, things like Mamma Mia, Greatest Showman, The Star is Born, and some Disney ones. Um, in those ones that don't look like they have spines, they're all the Disney picture discs. Um, so, yeah, we got those as well. But, anyway, there we go. That is collection, the blue, uh, wait, room tour. What am I doing? Room tour. <laughs> um, room tour 2023. Um, guys, this collection has taken me so many years to build. Um, you know, I've been collecting since 2012, I'd say. Um, uh, records longer. The records I've been collecting since probably like 2009, something. The records I've been collecting a long time. I've been a huge Beatles fan nearly all my life. Um, the Blu-rays was the first Avengers film that got me really into movies, um, <laughs> which is, you know, weird because I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite films. Um, but it was, it was the film which inspired me to really dig into movies more. So I've been collecting since way back then, you know, 10 years now, um, it's taken me to accumulate all this. Um, and I'm so incredibly grateful and I appreciate, I know how lucky I am to have this stuff and I never take it for granted. Um, and I've also been very kindly sent stuff by, um, subscribers and um, my, my friends, um, in, you know, in real life, oh, covering the camera now, my real life friends have also gifted me some stuff in here, um, because they know what I'm like, I'm a little bit of a <laughs> mad collector with these kind of things, um, but I'm so proud of this collection, and I'm so happy with the way the room looks, um, so yeah, I wanted to add that at the end, because as I say, it's, it's not, you know, I don't mean to do it to show off this video, I do it to say, because I know people are interested, and hey, I've worked hard to get all of this stuff, and I've got it looking really great so far, I think. I'm really happy with the way the room looks. There's a lot in here. It's overcrowding. I'm very much looking forward to the day where I have my own place, and I can put all of this in a room and have a normal bedroom for sure. Um, <laughs> but people know me. They know I've got a lot of stuff in here. Um, but anyway, there we go, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video as always. Um, apologies about the live streams again. Next Monday, I promise they're going to be back. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching as always. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and as always,
I'll see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.